Hey guys, Patriot with you tonight. Just out for a little uh, evening hike. Just out for a little evening hike. My uh, in-car temperature sensor said 102 on the way out tonight, and uh, it's uh, middle of September now. Still pretty warm. Uh, I've got enough water with me, as long as I take it easy. A couple of things I'll be mindful of tonight is my water loss with the temperature being so warm. Snakes, second, they're still out and they're pretty active uh, this time of the year at this time and uh, as the sun falls. And lastly, it's still dove season. This area has been hunted now for about a month. And because of that, they'll, they'll roost early. There's a dove flying up there. But because of that, they'll, uh, they'll really slow down in numbers and they'll roost in these Palo Verde and mesquite trees. Because of this, and because of that hunting pressure, people will do things sometimes that are unsportsmanlike. They'll shoot them out of trees, they'll shoot them off of the ground. So as I'm moving, anywhere that I can see a good hundred yards out in the distance, I'm keeping my eye open for uh, other hunters. Now I can kind of tell where they are because of their shotgun blasts, but if the hunting is slow, they may sit out here under a tree, or they may start uh, spot and stalking them. So uh, anyhow, I'm just going to be paying attention mostly to my uh, my water loss, snakes, and hunters. So they're out here enjoying their thing. And uh, I want to respect them and give them their space. While well, at the same time, making sure I don't walk into a dangerous uh, situation, have somebody shooting low. Now let me show you really quick. Speaking of uh, dove low. And I just spooked these two up into the tree right here. There's the shots I'm talking about. That was right about a half mile away. Perhaps just a little bit less. It might have been a third of a mile. Definitely more than a quarter mile. And you can see both dove and quail on the ground tonight. Those are about 45 yards of real close to shotgun range. So people are asking me, hey Patriot, is that your backpack from your uh, EDC backpack series? Uh, yes and no. Yes, it is the backpack from that series. I actually own two of them. The one that I'm wearing tonight is the exact one that was featured in that series, but this is an abbreviated, a reduced down uh, carry uh, that I can do either at home or at my truck to just come out here and spend a couple of hours. So what I'll do is I'll just adjust things as I need them I'll adjust my load and just take what I might need, what I might foresee needing. Okay guys, let's stop real quick. I'll break out the EDC pack and you can kind of see what I'm carrying tonight. Find a good place here in the wash. It doesn't have a lot of sticker thorns in it. And I've got a little bit of shade from the trees here.
Hey guys, uh, first on me tonight, I've got my uh, Leica 8x32 BNs. Excellent little binocular. They weigh about uh, 23, 24 ounces. Fairly bright, uh, not quite as sharp or as contrasty as the newest generation. Ultravid HDs, but nevertheless, a very nice pair of binoculars. And I've got those on a, uh, a bino strap. Got the cold steel recon tanto. This is a carbon five blade or carbon V, by the way, made in USA. One of my favorites. The new ones are OS eight, and then just recently they started making them in San Mai. Got my Max Custom SST fifty. Down in this little pocket here, I've got the uh, Maritac AAA, and I've got my windmill lighter. These items are always on me because if I should have, to, if I would have my backpack off and would have to leave it, uh, at least I have some items on me. This is my ASP. Key Defender Pepper Spray. You know, if I came across a, uh, I'm not that far from the city right here. If I ran into a dog or something out here, um, obviously I'd rather deter it than have to stop it permanently. Even though I, I am a hunter, um, I'm also an animal lover. I, I love pets and uh, and uh, I love I love all the critters. So. Uh, I hunt because it's uh, it's enjoyable, and uh, the food that comes out of it is is like no other. It's the food that you can harvest out here in the field is uh, uh, magnitudes better than what you can buy in a grocery store. I've got my Cold Steel Voyager X2 here. I always like to flip that open for you because it's fun. <laughs> Just got a nice sharp edge on it with the uh, Spider Co Sharp Maker, one of my favorites. And on my sidearm tonight is the Glock 20 10 millimeter in a Blackhawk Serpa holster. Uh, you can see it does have a KKM barrel and a compensator on it. I do have a magwell as well. So I've got uh, 15 rounds of uh, Winchester silver tip tonight. And I do not have a spare magazine, just don't need one. All right, guys, let's move on to the pack contents here. On the outside of the bag, I've got a uh, pair of uh, leather gloves. These are my do-everything gloves. Uh, excellent. Uh, they're, they're good and tough. They resist the thorns out here. Uh, if I have to put a hand down on the ground or I have to crawl or I have to dig, uh, these help a lot. Um, same thing if I have to uh, use my uh, cutting tools, knives, saws. Uh, or if I have to baton something. Uh, to me, gloves out here are pretty invaluable. I've got a 24 ounce water bottle. This is just a two hour hike tonight. I'm going pretty slow. I filled it with ice and as this melts I can drink it and it doesn't take long out here. This is uh, my reserve water. It's just a small uh, 17 ounce, 17 ounces don't plan on using it, but it's my extra. Got a, a little bit of paracord here. Uh, my friend Mick made that for me. He does some uh, various paracord wraps, and I've just got that tucked in there. Uh, for me, this is a uh, an extra set of shoelaces, basically. Or it's a, a shoe repair in case I have a zipper or something break on these uh, 511s. Uh, I can uh, wrap it with this and secure that. In here, I've got my uh, optics cleaning. I'm constantly, you guys seen, I'm, I'm pretty uh, persistent at keeping my uh, my glass clean. I've got my wallet. I've got three volt CR123 lithium batteries. These are non rechargeable. These are disposable. I have my 
Belomo triplet 10 power loop with me in a little Ziploc bag so it keeps the optics clean. That's real good for uh, looking at small critters or for removing splinters. And I have a double A Meritac flashlight with a lithium battery. It's very lightweight. This is kind of a backup light. Just kind of sits in the bottom of the bag here. I sort of forget about it unless I should really need it. This is my Zebra, lot, zebra Light headlamp. Uses the same battery as my SST50, my Max Customs. Spare set of uh, batteries for my camera. Oh, one thing on my person I forgot to show you. It's right in my pocket next to my EDC light. It's a jet scream whistle. And it rings my ears even out here in the open. Again, that's one of those things that's on me all the time. I've already got enough hanging from my neck with the binoculars here that uh, I don't want whistles and knives hanging from my neck as well.